Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to check out the Auto Gleam Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. Uh, this is a car shampoo for contact wash uh, with some su um, surface protection included. What we are going to do is, well, it will be rather me, I'm going to wash the car with it. I put 20 milliliters to this bucket, which has around 7 liters of water. According to the instructions, it should be 20 milliliters to like 10 liters of water, but I'm going to use this way. And I will skip one of the doors so we can uh, see if there is any difference in between. Um, what else? Oh yes, small print. I got the product from autofailestage.hu, however it's not a paid advert. You are going to hear and see my honest opinion as usual. So let's kick it. Okay, let's see what sort of protection it is. Uh, the left side was treated, the right wasn't. OK, 
Okay, I've got no idea what sort of protection it is, but it definitely doesn't have any water beading properties. All right, boys and girls, so that was the Auto Gleam Bodywork Shampoo Conditioner. Uh, it has this chewing gum or bubble gum scent, which I don't really like, but you can only smell it um, when it's neat in the bottle. As soon as you put it in the bucket and you dilute it, then you cannot really smell it when you apply it to the car. Um, yeah, it was foaming okay, it was lubricated. Uh, it washed off the dirt, however, I cannot see what sort of protection it might have, because whatever it is, it doesn't give water beading, and usually these protections give some water beading. In the past couple of weeks, I tested a few of these wax shampoos, it gives something similar result. It washes the car, but what sort of protection it has, I've got zero idea. I would not say that I don't recommend the product because if you like the chewing gum or bubble gum scent and you need a shampoo that cleans off the dirt then it will work. Um, but if you want something that is together with the protection then in my opinion this is not the one. It's definitely not for me. Um, in my opinion there are better shampoos uh, out there but it's okay. It does what it's supposed to. One more thing that I wanted to mention was that according to the instructions I would need to wash the half of the car first and rinse and then wash the other half. I suppose what they meant to say is don't let it dry. Um, because otherwise if it's very hot outside, even if you are in the shadow, you might not be able to wash half of a car before it starts to dry. So point being don't let it dry. Anywho, that was it about this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.